This video is sponsored by Surfshark. Hi everyone, Tao here. Today, we're gonna be looking at some of my top accessories that I've been using with the Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. Let's dive right in. One of my favorite ways to use the Tab S7 Plus is to pair it with a monitor. The Tab S7 Plus has worked flawlessly as a basic computer. I picked up this Anchor USB-C hub off Amazon so I could pair it up with my 4K monitor and the experience is honestly amazing. The hub supports the highest resolution available for DeX, which is 1440p. It actually looks pretty good, even on this massive 32 inch monitor. I can also watch YouTube videos up to the display's max resolution of 4K, which is so nice. Besides the HDMI port, it also gives you a USB-A port, a TF plus SD card slot, and a headphone jack. I use the SD card slot a lot to transfer photos from my camera to the tablet for quick edits before posting on social media. The headphone jack is so nice to have back because sometimes you just want the better listening experience to really get into the zone. Then when I'm done working, I just yank the hub off, put it back into tablet mode, and cozy up in bed with easily one of the best screens you can hold in your hands. One thing to note about connecting an extra display is that the refresh rate on the tablet drops down to 60 hertz. You definitely notice it, but I'm willing to sacrifice the 120 hertz for the extra workspace. When connected to a monitor, besides taking the occasional note, I'm not really using the tablet that much anyways. If you mainly work at a desk like me, the keyboard cover from Samsung isn't the best when it comes to ergonomics. I've tried my fair share of tablet sands, and this one is currently my favorite. This is from Above Tech. Tell me this doesn't give you that computer monitor vibe. The base is very iMac-like. The biggest pro here is that it raises the tablet to eye level. So you're not hunching over to look at your screen anymore, which is always a good thing. And your back, well thank you. It's super sturdy and I love how easy it is to just drop the tablet in. The base is made out of aluminum, but the mounting arm is made out of plastic. It would have been nice if the whole thing was made out of metal, but it is what it is. There is rubber padding at the top and bottom to make sure the tablet doesn't get damaged, which is something you want to look for always. Oh, and check this out. It also rotates and tilts, so you can use it in landscape or portrait at any angle you want. The biggest drawback is that it blocks both S Pen mounting spots, so I sort of just leave it on my desk most of the time. I've been getting so many comments about what keyboard this is, and this is actually from a brand called Vinpoc. This is the TapTech mechanical keyboard. And straight up, I love this thing. It's like the perfect size for the tablet. Seriously, <laughs> look, it lines up perfectly. And because it's mechanical, you get that satisfying feedback when typing. It's backlit and has tons of lighting effects. You can use it wirelessly with Bluetooth or plug it in with a USB cable. Unless you need portability, a dedicated keyboard and mouse is always going to offer the best experience. I recommend getting ones that can pair to multiple devices so you can quickly switch between something like a desktop computer, a tablet, and even your smartphone. Both this one and another one of my favorites, the Logitech Craft, can pair and switch seamlessly between three different devices. If Bluetooth is in your jam, here's an interesting alternative. It's the Kalud Key Hub. It basically combines a keyboard and USB hub into one single product. This is not a Bluetooth keyboard. It needs to be connected via USB-C. Some keyboards can have a slight delay with Bluetooth, which can get annoying. It's a little pricey, but if you're gonna spend money on a USB-C hub anyways, it makes the price easier to swallow. The extra ports work as you would expect. I'm able to plug my monitor directly into the keyboard and still get the 1440p resolution. You can charge the tablet up too through the power delivery port. You'll also get four USB-A ports plus a TF and SD card reader. It doesn't have a headphone jack though, which I think is a missed opportunity. The biggest downside to this is the clutter of cables, but with some good cable management, it could work nicely. My go-to mouse is the Logitech MX Master 2S, and this one can also be paired to multiple devices. It's such an awesome feature and makes working across different devices so much easier. A lot of the time, I'll actually just use the Tab S7 Plus as the trackpad, especially if it's just for casual browsing or to do something real quick. 
put it right beside your keyboard and you've got a massive trackpad that works really well. A mouse is probably my first option 80% of the time, but you can't tell me this isn't cool. The front-facing camera on the Tab S7 Plus isn't that great, but like most cameras, it looks so much better with more light. If I'm about to hop on a WebEx, Zoom, or any video call, I'll switch on my cute little pocket light. It has a 2000 milliamp hour battery inside that can be recharged via USB-C. There's five brightness levels, but I usually stick to one or two since it gets blindingly bright any higher than that. Look, check out the difference in quality with it off and now with it on. It looks better, right? Next up is an Xbox controller or any decent Bluetooth controller. I prefer the Xbox controller because pressing the Xbox button actually launches the Game Pass app. I'm a very casual gamer, but Xbox Game Pass has sort of brought back out the kid in me. You know that feeling when you first discovered Netflix? This is exactly the same feeling for me, except it's with games. You just pay a monthly subscription and you get access to so many different games without even owning an Xbox. The games are being streamed from the cloud, so you definitely need a pretty fast connection for the best experience. But if what you're after is the most secure connection, you need to check out today's video sponsor, Surfshark. Surfshark is a VPN used to encrypt the internet traffic sent to and from your devices. This ensures nobody can see where you are and what you're doing online especially relevant on unsecure public Wi-Fi. While visiting Japan, I fell in love with several Japanese shows on Netflix, but to my disappointment, they weren't available when I got back home. With Surfshark, I've been able to bypass the geo restriction and continue to watch without physically being in Japan. What's really crazy is that there's no limit to the number of devices you can connect at a time. So with one account, the whole family can stay secure too. Try Surfshark now by clicking the link below and using my promo code TAO. You'll get 83% off and three months completely free. One thing I'd love to see Samsung do is offer their own video editor, kind of like what iMovie is for iPads. They already have this super basic video editor in the gallery app, so maybe just separate it, call it Samsung Video Editor, and build some extra functionality into that. There are some options on the Play Store, but I liked something built in. Video creation is becoming more and more popular, so let's make it happen, Samsung. Anyways, that's pretty much a rundown of all the accessories I use on a regular basis with the Tab S7 Plus. Feel free to drop your favorite accessories down in the comment section so I can check them out. As usual, thank you all so much for watching. Until the next one, I'm out of here.